If you're coming to a Griffith Further Study Open Night, don't forget to book a 15-minute Q&A at one of our future study bars, where someone like me, or her, can answer any questions about your postgraduate or return to study options. Just choose your time, your study area, and we'll see you at Open Night. Griffith Q&As at our Further Study Open Nights. Because when you know more, you can do more. Well, thanks to Griffith University, No More, Do More, each week here on Suns TV, we're going to take a comfy seat here on the Griffith University Red Couch. Now, this week I'm joined by Claire Minahan from Griffith University. Claire has been working very closely with the Gold Coast Suns with their players' altitude training and technique. Now, Claire, welcome. Firstly, how much different will the physical demands on the players' bodies be compared to the pre-season games? I think it's fair to say that the Premiership games are going to be faster, more intense, uh, they're mentally focused. The coach is playing their best team, so we can expect a much harder game today. Now, how are the lessons of elite sports applied to general sports science in preparation for everyday fitness? The application of sports science to improving uh, sports performance isn't too dissimilar to the application of exercise science to improving exercise tolerance. Well, guys, you know, a big thank you to Claire for uh, joining me on the red couch. Of course, the Griffith red couch here today. Time now to have a look at Suns Sports Science. Tuesdays is always a, a day off our legs, so we do boxing or swimming or um, altitude work on the bike, um, just something to get the aerobic work in without, uh, without the running the legs. I really enjoy boxing, um, you get a great workout, um, I think you know, it's pretty good for your, your hand-eye coordination as well and um, you know, I just find uh, it's, a, it's a good way to release a little bit of tension and, um, and also get some, some really good fitness benefits. So it's a 45 minute high tempo, high intensity session which is going to give them a really good training stimulus as I say, um, which is not going to put any load on their lower body. The way the game's played and you're on for three or four minutes and you're off and um, such high intensity and certainly you know, boxing you, you get that because um, it, it's such a complete workout. For some of our senior guys they do tend to puff up somewhat if they uh, do a lot of lifting so this type of training still maintains their strength, their endurance and their ability to do the repeat efforts which is what our game's all about. Over the 45 minutes, they're probably doing something like uh, 200 efforts, 200 to 300 efforts almost. So it's a hell of a lot of small intervals. So we try and replicate what we do in a game, transfer it. It's not really like a game, but it's a similar sort of philosophy. Short intervals, repeat speed, repeat effort. Yeah, it's a tough one. There's a few guys that go, I oh, can't, Michael hits the pads pretty hard. Well, the most technical would be Brownie because he's done a hell of a lot of The biggest handful I reckon would be Brennan, Jared Brennan. He's a really rangy southpaw, so he'd probably be the one I would suggest that could go on if he wanted to. We'll probably put the headgear on next week, mouth guards in, do a lot of fencing, which is just jabbing, no power shots. Get them out of their comfort zone and really put the pressure on them. Yeah, I'm just smiling. 